Hello everybody, yes, how are we all doing? It is the Freders93 here and welcome back to another edition of Football with Freders, the weekly football chat discussion show here on the channel. Now this week I'm going to be taking a look at the EFL playoffs and which begin next week and so I shall be making my predictions for there going from League 2 all the way to the Championship. However, I'm going to start with the Championship because they... These four teams will be competing for the third and final place in the Premier League alongside Norwich City and Watford. Uh, with Fulham's relegation having been confirmed on Monday night. Um, and so the playoffs are between Bournemouth, Brentford, Barnsley and Swansea. A lot of bees in there. <laughs> um, but starting with bees, um, Brentford have got probably the tougher task against Bournemouth. Um, Bournemouth struggled a little bit at the beginning of the season under Jason Tindall, who then managed to lose his job, but John from Woodgate managed to steer them back up to the playoffs. Whereas Brentford wasn't too sure what may or may not have happened with them, having lost Ben Rama and Ollie Watkins this season, but I think it's safe to say that Ivan Tony has proven more than inadequate replacement having just broken the championship goal scoring record uh fantastic Ivan Tony can't believe Newcastle let you go no way I actually can <laughs> however I'm gonna go for Brentford to edge uh this tie and then for who they could face is between Barnsley and Swansea now Barnsley um haven't been in the Premier League for quite a few years um Swansea have been in there more recently than they have um it's gonna be tough for me to predict this because I do like an underdog story because so I would actually bat Barnsley however Swansea do have a Newcastle goalkeeper in loan in regards to Freddie Woodman so I reckon Swansea might have a bit too much for Barnsley to handle I mean, what a comeback story from Barnsley as well, by the way. Uh, staying up in the championship on the last day of the previous season to playoffs. It's not bad going. However, this will be one step too far for them. So I reckon championship playoff final will be between Brentford and Swansea. Let's go for Brentford win. Let's see Brentford in the Premier League. That would be amazing to see. Moving on to League One to see the four teams who are battling for that last place in the championship alongside Hull and Peterborough I believe it was. So we have got Oxford City taking on Blackpool and Lincoln City versus Sunderland. <laughs> what, what, why was I saying that with dread? We're staying up, we're still going to be in the Premier League regardless of how Sunderland do in the playoffs. So for between Oxford and Blackpool, um, I reckon this is going to be a tough one to call. Having not really looked into the head-to-heads between those two before this video, I would say, let's go, actually, you know what, let's go Oxford. Let's go Oxford. Bit of an, under, bit of an underdog thing, because I know Blackpool had been in the Championship probably a bit more recently than Oxford have. But it'd be good to see Oxford in the Championship, potentially. Why not? And then Lincoln City against Sunderland, um, I wouldn't. I really don't want to have, well, we didn't want to predict this, but I think Sunderland will edge it in this. <laughs> you can tell the Newcastle fan, not just because of what's behind me, but also begrudgingly really not wanting to say anything good for Sunderland. Um, however, I can't not predict them to uh, advance into this one. Um, but then, so they're now contest the final between Sunderland and Oxford. However, Sunderland, I'm sorry, I'm not letting you win this one. I'm going to back Oxford. So, so far I'm backing Brentford to go into the Premier League and Oxford to go into the Championship. So, who should go into League One? So, it is Newport County, Forest Green Rovers, Tranmere Rovers and Morecambe. Newport County, who gave Newcastle a bit of a tough time in their Carabao Cup fixture. The fixture proved to be a lot tougher for Newcastle than how it should have been. And so they put up a good fight against the environmental friendly, the vegan football club, however you know them. They're just revolutionising the way that football clubs are being run and how they're 
operating to take care of the environment, things like that. Um, Forest Green Rivers, of course. But however, I'm going to go with Newport County to edge this one. Just seeing how they played against us in the Carabao Cup, and obviously that's their first team, um, I reckon they should have enough to get past us there. And then Tranmere Rovers versus Morecambe. Um, I can't really say I've looked too much into them or their respective forms. Uh, let me just take a quick look. So Morecambe actually finished above Tranmere Rovers um, earlier in the season, but then there was only five points in it. It looked pretty close towards the final day of the season for at least five, four of the three, three of the other four places, which is uh, very interesting to see there. Um, so let's go Morecambe to edge that for then Newport County to then edge the playoff final. So I'm going for Newport to go into League One, Oxford to go into the Championship and Brentford to go into the Premier League. Let's see how right I may or may not be with those in the next few weeks then. But that is going to do it for this time round on Football Freders. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Do leave that like, subscribe if you're new, follow social media, follow Twitch, and we're streaming Little Nightmares 2 tonight, by the way. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.